It's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Washington Commanders and the New Orleans Saints. All that and more coming up next. We are down on the bayou as you get a look inside the Caesars Superdome here in New Orleans. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup in store as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the New Orleans Saints. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. Glad you're with us. It's Blake Groupie to get this one started, and off we go here in New Orleans. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And yeah, not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second and nine. Back to throw. Daniels. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Uh, I don't know if he's sensing contact to Carlo Walker. but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Operating from the gun, Daniels. He's got it. Play there for Washington. And even 40 yards. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Throwing it Terry McLaurin's way again, and he's got it. Touchdown, Washington! Terry McLaurin, 37 yards. And the Commanders will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Those are the drives that prove a lot. you got a rookie quarterback, Charles, you're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with, as you described, a rookie quarterback, the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. We got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to say, I'm here to be your leader. They just need to follow him. Extra point from McManus is good. And it's now a 7-0 game.
After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So here come the Saints now for their first drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch his development through the years, and right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense, and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Now this one complete downfield on the left side, and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. Carr now on first down. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So no gain on the play, and that'll make it second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They fake the handoff. Now Carr it gets this complete to Shahid. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 19. A good pick up there, 22. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he is in the Zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. 19 yards for Alvin Kamara. And the Saints respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. And that is a great answer here offensively in this first quarter. You start the game flat. Your defense gives up a quick touchdown. But you turn right around and take it down the field yourself quickly and finish with the touchdown run. This could be a game of offense. We've seen two sharp drives in the first few minutes. Blake Groupie now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7 here as the kick's away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. They started on the ground with Eckler. Oh, he's got a little daylight! And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that, the nickel look. Five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Second down in the yard. Looking to throw. Daniels finding Ertz again. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Second and 10. Up the middle with Eckler. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. They'll come up now third and three. Back to throw. Daniels. And this is going to be incomplete. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. I tell you what, that's a bedroom play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. Now McManus will line up for the field goal. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. The kick by McManus is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Yeah, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. His first carry in their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. Carr's throw caught by Olave. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. That'll be taken in by Shahid. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down.
Here's Kamara out of the pistol. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out of here and take off. And he is going to have a Saints first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. As they've got it as we resume action. Alave holds it in. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Cook hands that time to knock that one away. It sure looked like a short touchdown, but able to get a good break on the football and force the incompletion. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Into the red zone, it's Carr. Complete to Alave on the out route. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. On first down, Carr. Over the middle, it's complete. And yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. But a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Carr now on third and goal. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Jamin Davis. And the commanders are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. But turnovers, obviously, Charles, always costly. But, with, oh man, when you throw those interceptions in the end zone like that, it really stings. He tried to fit that one into his tight end. And I often use the expression NFL open, which means a tighter window. Down near the goal line, you really want him to be open. In this case, it cost him. They go play action here on first down. 
A quick throw there is incomplete. He's trying to get it to Terry McLaurin. That'll bring up second down. Throwing again. Daniels. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. I don't know whether I want to be a fly on the wall or not when they hear the explanation of how he, one of the bigger targets on the field, the tight end could be that wide open and uncovered downfield. Who blew that assignment? Somebody did. No doubt about it. There's no way you're not going to account for him. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to bring up second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. They'll look to throw again. Zacchaeus here holding it in. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 41-yard line. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Running on first down, Eckler. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 48 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. On first down, Daniels. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent game. To throw on second down, Daniels out left to Dotson. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Looking to throw. Daniels. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. That time, the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. On the screen, this is Eckler. Touchdown, Washington. Austin Eckler, a five-yard touchdown. And the commanders are able to add on to that lead. All drives that result in points hurt a defense. 
But when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. Now McManus for the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. So that one a long 11-play drive. And Austin Eckler capped it off with the touchdown reception. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with a run so far. Now it's Kamara in the passing game. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught 11 on the field, those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On the counter, here's Kamara. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, on is Lou Headley to punt for New Orleans. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. The Washington offense set to take over. They have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels. This to McLaurin out on the left side. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing. And they get a nice pick up here toward the end of the first half. On first and ten, Daniels. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they could at least attempt to kick before the half. And he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield, so he took it upon himself to get them into field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Thank you. 
Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Operating from the gun, Daniels. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Austin Eckler with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Commanders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. McManus's point after is good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Now a play fake. Carr. Looking deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And the defense obviously expecting run as well as they're going to shut that one down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Now the Saints going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. 
Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Car to throw on second down. And Wilson with it, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 33 yards that time. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. And that might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. A 10th carry for Camara. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Add this gain to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it, and the running game is starting to pay off. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. <laughs> Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Now back to throw. It's brought in by Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara with his second touchdown of the night. And the Saints are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. The point after, good by Groupie. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. There's Terry McLaurin, such an exciting pass catcher as this offense comes out for their next drive. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards, but hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. They'll start on the ground here on first down. A oh, nice move. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 65 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. Middle of the field, he's got McClellan. And he's brought down. 
Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. Five yards, now it's third and five. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll come up facing third and five. Back to throw again. And he'll fire this one deep for Eckler. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Well, the crowd doesn't like that. Was going to bring up fourth. Now it's first. <laughs> they don't like it at all, do they? It brings them back into it, but really not in a positive way. Now they're angry. And that can jangle a team a little bit as well. Pass interference. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr. taking it in from a yard out. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. And maybe that's the magic touch right there. They didn't use him at all in the first half, at least running the football. But here they entrust him with some work down in the red zone. And he responds. One carry, one touchdown. Extra point from McManus is good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They start the drive on the ground, Kamara. And he got blown up on that play, back at the 20. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. But if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. They run it again with Kamara. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Carr. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. 
Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and five. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Carr going to try and throw on third down. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Now Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. To throw his car. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. Offensively lucky they're able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Crowder now to return. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Washington offense heading out. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Throwing on first down. Daniels over the middle, brought in by Dotson. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. Here's a second and five. It's Washington with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time, the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. And he's going to have a commander's first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. 
Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. It's Eckler again, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Now that's a nice play. <laughs> Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking at the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Here's Tressway now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. This is taken at the 18. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Carr. Slant pass complete to Alave. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Quick slant there, gets him the first down, six yards on the play. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that, where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Carr. That's a lot, eh? Bring him in another one. And he's taken down inside the 30. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll look to throw again. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A really nice gain of 25 yards. 
you have to ask the question, where was the help? Because it's a little surprising to me that he'd find that much room to run this close to the end zone. He doesn't quite get there, but he sets his guys up with a first and goal. Again, they'll throw with Carr. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Camara is in. Touchdown, New Orleans. The fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. Groupie able to add the PAT, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. That time, a nine-play drive. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this is going to be covered up by Washington. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Eckler now between the tackles. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Defensively, no doubt they need a quick stop. Offensively here, maybe do you put it in the air on second down or do you go ahead and keep it on the ground, keep that clock moving? A lot of people would ask that question, partner, because sometimes throwing the ball might actually be the path of least resistance. But in this case, it's a matter of trust. How much do you trust your quarterback? Because you throw the ball and it goes awry, you really don't look smart as a coach. Yeah, and then you stop that clock. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Back to throw. Daniels able to find the open man. That's complete. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. See if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee.
Second and 11. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. So it's the Commanders who come away with a win. And it was their quarterback who led the way, Charles. Pretty impressive play for a rookie. Yeah, he had a great night throwing the football. Wound up with three touchdown passes for the game. And his leadership, it really showed through in this one. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaud.